I'm not alone. The Bible says two are better than one. One shall chase a thousand, two shall put ten thousand to flight. Together with my wife, we shall be bringing you God's word. Woman of God, welcome to Empowerment by the Word and Quickening by the Spirit. Amen. I am excited, beloved, with what the Lord is doing. I thank the Lord for what He did last week. And I am so expectant for what the Lord is about to do, especially in your life today. Because I know that the Lord will meet you at the very point of your need in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. So I know that the word of the Lord that is coming today, it will bring about light in every area of your life. Every area of confusion, there will be light in the name of Jesus. Why don't you pick up your phone, call a friend, tell them that the Lord is about to do something that will change their lives and situation radically forever in the name of Jesus. I know that it shall be your testimonies that will be celebrating after today in Jesus' precious name. Amen. What a mighty God we serve. God's word is the final authority on every issue of life. So, before we get into God's word, let's approach the word of God reverently and in prayer. Father, we thank you for thank access. You, we thank you yes, for Lord. grace to get into your word. As we look into your word, speak to every heart. Let everyone have it, an encounter with you in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. We give you praise and we call it done yes, in Lord. Jesus precious name. Amen. Amen. You know, we started a powerful teaching last week as the Lord opened our spirit to it. Don't don't worry if you missed the last week broadcast. You can always catch it up on our website. It is there for you. We have kept it there so that you can enjoy God's word. But tonight you're not going to miss anything because God has a way of bringing things together. We started looking at some cardinal forces that will bring about that can help you to succeed in life and to have victory in every aspect of your life. There are some cardinal forces and last week we looked at the life of a man called Joseph. From his life because all that the scripture, all the, all the things that are written in the scripture, they are, they are for our examples that we may do all that they have done. So we looked at the life of a man, Joseph, who, who was conspired against, whom they attempted to put on the ground, despite the fact that God has destined him from the top. There was a conspiracy against him. Everything was working against him, but God was with him. Mm -hmm. And that was what we looked at, the first cardinal force, force of success in every area for continuous victory is divine presence. If God be for you, there is no devil, no situation, no force on earth anywhere that can come against you if god is for you so what you need is to succeed and to be victorious continually is to get god on your side Amen. so we looked at those forces we looked at the, the, that very powerfully but today we're going to look at the other cardinal forces that will help you to succeed and to enjoy victory what is the next force woman of god i want us to read our primary text that we've been looking at acts of apostles chapter number seven and verse nine let's see what the scripture says Acts 7 9 and the patriarchs moved with envy and sold Joseph into Egypt but God was with him uh -huh. and delivered him out of all his afflictions and gave him favor and wisdom and gave him favor the next force of success we're going to look at tonight is the force of favor amen favor is a very primary force of success favor can turn your life around in fact a wise man said one day of favor is worth a lifetime of labor amen when you experience favor when you encounter favor favor can turn a captive just like joseph into a prime minister right. overnight favor can turn a peasant into a queen like That's it right. did for esther That's right. favor can turn a captive like daniel into a great man in the land. It can turn into making to one of the greatest people in the land. Favor 
is all you need. You can never work hard enough mm. to get everything you need in life. You need the favor of God on your life. Amen. Favor is the divine touch. Favor is like the aroma of God that comes upon the life of a man. And when the favor of God is upon your life, things will work for good for you. The things that are supposed to be contrary. In fact, people that don't like you will help you. People Amen. that don't want to see your face, when the favor of God is upon your life, they will, the favor of God will cause them to show kindness, to show mercy, to show love, to show affection, to open doors for you that ordinarily would have been closed. So Joseph was a man that enjoyed favor. So if you must succeed in life, it is not by power, mm. it is not by might, but by my spirit, say the Lord. The Bible says it is not of him that will it, not right. him that run it, but of God that showeth mercy. Amen. And that is favor. Whatever area of your life, what you need to succeed is favor. In fact, when the favor of God is upon your life, you might go for an interview and you are the least qualified. That's but right. you'll be the one that will get the job. And I want to prophesy Thank that you, the Father. favor of God will come upon your life as we are getting into this world. God is speaking. You know, the entrance of his word, it giveth light. When the word of God enters into your heart the light of god will shine in your situation so as god is sending the word of favor to you right now that means god is about to favor you i don't know where you have experienced this favor before things are about to turn around because the favor of god will make a difference you can't go far in life without favor mm. we, you can't go far without favor esther rescued the whole of our uh, uh, lineage as it were he, she rescued all the jews that were connected to her at a time when there was uh there was a plot to to annihilate all the jews mm. to kill them all the favor of god was upon esther that when esther appeared before the king it was against the law for her to go before the king but when the favor of god was upon her life when she showed up the bible says the king lifted up his golden scepter and said esther what would you have me do for you to the half of my kingdom Amen. so favor can open door that might can open Hallelujah. favor can open door that strength can make happen Amen. so i want you to know that if you must succeed one of the things you need to desire is to desire favor from the lord and actually favor actually comes from the lord in psalm 5 and verse number 12 woman of god i'm feeling something because Amen. somebody is coming in contact with favor psalm 5 Amen. 12 the bible says for thou lord will bless the righteous with favor will thou compass him as with a shield with favor will thou compass him as with a shield that mm. means the favor of god will surround him as with a shield so if you must be victorious if you must succeed in life you need to engage the favor of God. Mm. And there are ways by which you engage favor. I'm going to show, and we're going to see that as the Holy Spirit is going to open us up to so that you can begin to command favor. Favor is a seed. Mm. Favor can produce harvest in your life. There is what you need to do to command favor. But before we look into what you need to do to command favor, I want you to know that God has scheduled seasons of favor for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Look at the scripture in Psalm 102. Let us hear what the Bible says there. Psalm 102 verse 13. The Bible says, Thou shall arise and have mercy upon Zion. Yes. For the time to favor her. Yea, the set time is come. This is your set time. This is the set time for your favor. Amen. God will arise and have mercy on you. No matter what has been going against you, God is sending us as his prophet and speaking prophetically you, into Jesus. your life, into your situation, Thank into you, your Father. family, into your health. God is going to bring favor your way Thank because you, this is your set time for favor. Favor will help you to command victory wherever you are mm. you know and how do you command favor look at the next verse i want you to read that verse of the scripture for thy servants take pleasure in her stones and favor the dust thereof favor is a seed mm. you have to learn to begin to show favor to others when mm. you begin to show favor to others then you begin to command favor but most importantly you need to show favor to zion that that's means right. you need to favor the things of god that's right when you favor the things of god then god will favor the things that pertain to your life mm. joseph was a man that loved the law he was a man that does things that pleases the lord so because of that he commanded favor mm. and esther also why did she enjoy favor when she stepped before the king because she was trying to show favor to her people that's right so favor is a seed when you want to see favor in your life then you need to 
to sow the seed of favor, whatever you make happen for others, mm. God will make happen for you. And Amen. I see God wrapping your life with favor that everywhere okay, you Jesus. go there's going to be an aroma of favor on your life where you have been turned down before they're going to favor you we had a testimony in the church i spoke prophetically that's right i said this week some people are getting that was at that time i said this week some people will get supernatural jobs and there was somebody that has been turned down mm. because the person was disfavored and when that word went into effect because God confirms the word of his servant, That's he right. performs the counsel of his messenger. The beauty of our God is the miracle working uh, dynamics of our God. Our God is a miracle worker. That's right. Where they turn her down before, they call her back mm. and say, there's a job for you because Amen. favor can change the heart of a man That's right. to begin to show you kindness that you didn't deserve. So mm. I want to prophesy over Thank your you life, Father. right where you are, where you have suffered this favor. I see the favor of God coming on your life Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. And I want you to sow the seed of favor. Sow the seed of favor. Favor somebody mm. you know maybe there are some people that have done you uh, ill before you need to show them some favor you know joseph was a man that showed favor mm. to his brethren that's right they sold him as a slave and when the famine time came there was no more food in the land except in the land of egypt they came to egypt to seek food Joseph didn't turn them down. That's Joseph right. fed them. He, he gave them a wonderful reception. He didn't let them know that, you know, he was the same person that they sold. Listen, the conspiracy, what mm. the enemy meant for evil, God would turn it around for your good. The conspiracy of the enemy that was planned to keep you on the ground, God will use it to elevate you. You don't have Amen. to reward evil with evil. You can reward evil with good, That's right. with love. Show some favor. Look for somebody to favor. Favor your spouse. Amen. Favor your children. Favor all your colleagues show favor somewhere and the favor of god will answer in your life woman Amen. of god i'm feeling this word because god is about to release his favor into your life right where you are in the mighty name of jesus Amen. and that favor will bring laughter and rejoicing to your soul my lord will be back after this break to continue this powerful message we are inviting you to come join the man of god for our life-changing worship services we are conveniently located at 2435 Dixie Avenue in Smyrna, Georgia, off of Windy Hill. We have two powerful services on Sunday at 9.30 a.m. and our second service is at 11.15 a.m. Our Wednesday Miracle Service and Bible Study is at 7.30 p.m. And thank God for Friday because we have our intercessory prayer meeting at 7.30 p.m. We'll see you there in Jesus' name. Welcome back, beloved. We have been looking at a very, very powerful subject today that I know that it's a blessing to your heart. And if you are just joining us, I know that as you open your heart and come along with us, the Lord will enlighten your understanding in the name of Jesus. Why don't you welcome God's prophet to continue this powerful word tonight? Man of God, we're looking at the, the cardinal forces for success and victory in every aspect of life. And we've just been considering favor. Favor will be your portion. And one of the ways, Amen. other ways you can attract favor into your life is to entreat of the Lord. Ask God for favor. When you ask him in prayer, favor will come upon your life. Amen. But we want to look at the next cardinal force for success that will guarantee success for you in every area of your life. And that is, we're going back to our text. We're going to look at the life of Joseph and see what was in his life that can come into our life to help us to be victorious everywhere we're found. Amen. Acts of the Apostles chapter 7 from verse 9. And the patriots moved with envy, sold Joseph into Egypt. But God was with him and delivered him out of all his afflictions and gave him favor and wisdom. Wisdom, wisdom, mm. wisdom. Wisdom is the principal thing. Mm. In fact, wisdom is a force in life. You can't reign, you can't rule without wisdom. God said in Proverbs chapter number four and verse number seven, he said, wisdom is the, the principal thing. thing. Therefore, get it. Mm. So you need wisdom in order for you to be victorious, in order for you to succeed. Wisdom will help you to scale the, the wall of the mighty. Mm. Wisdom will bring about promotion. I want you to read Proverbs chapter four and verse seven. There are some powerful virtues of wisdom wisdom amen w proverbs chapter 4 verse 7 wisdom is the principal thing 
therefore get wisdom mm -hmm. and with all thy getting get understanding yes exalt her and she shall promote thee she shall bring thee to honor when thou dost embrace her she shall give to thy head an ornament of grace a crown of glory shall she deliver to thee you see wisdom is the principal thing wisdom will bring you to honor wisdom will bring about promotion in your life wisdom will bring about the ornament of a crown of glory mm -hmm. on your head wisdom will bring about an ornament of grace on your neck mm -hmm. wisdom is a requirement you know when you have wisdom you're going to succeed and by the bible says wisdom is better than weapon of war that's right you say money is the defense wisdom is also a defense Amen. so you need wisdom in fact the scripture says in proverbs 8 8 and verse 11 i want you to read that scripture woman of god the bible says for wisdom is better than rubies uh -huh. and all the things that may be desired are not to be compared to it all the things that mm. may be desired are not to be compared mm. with it. That means if you put all your desires on a, on a scale, wisdom will outweigh all of them. So That's you need right. wisdom. In order for you to be victorious, in order for you to succeed in life, you need wisdom. And wisdom comes from God. God is the one that gives wisdom. The Bible says God has laid sound wisdom up for the righteous. So mm. there's wisdom with God in James chapter number 1 and verse number 5. He said, if any man lack wisdom... Mm. Let him ask of God that given to all men liberally and it shall be given to him. So you need wisdom in order for you to remain to remain successful, in order for you to be successful in every area of your life. Wisdom is a requirement and is a primary force. Wisdom is a very powerful force for you to succeed. What is wisdom? Wisdom is simply doing God's word. Amen. That is what wisdom is. Wisdom is going God's way. Mm -hmm. And when you begin to walk in wisdom, you are walking in the highways of life. Mm -hmm. God says, my ways are not your ways. That's my right. thoughts are not your thoughts. And the heaven is higher than it. And so are my ways higher than your ways. And my thoughts higher than your thoughts. Wisdom is engaging God's ways to handle the issues of life. Amen. That is what wisdom is. Wisdom is embracing God's thought in order for you to be able to attack the challenges of your life no matter what is coming against you there is god's way to doing it that was why jesus said in matthew chapter 7 and he said whosoever heareth this saying of mine mm -hmm. and doeth them i will liken him to a wise man which built his house on the rock and when the storms came the wind blew the house was still standing because the house was built on wisdom Amen. so wisdom is a requirement wisdom is the primary force of life no matter what you want to succeed in no matter what you want to do wherever you want victory in your life you just need wisdom to be able to succeed and wisdom is going god's way wisdom is doing things the way of the lord when you engage or embrace god's way you are said to be walking in wisdom and i see god baptizing you with wisdom every good and every perfect gift Amen. coming from above it coming from the father of light with whom there is no variableness neither is there any shadow of turning if you lift your eyes unto god and ask him to give you wisdom because you can't rule the bible says Talking of wisdom, he said, by me, kings reign That's and right. princes decree justice. And you have been made a king, a priest, if you are saved, if you are in Christ. God wants you to rule and to reign in life. And the primary force for you to rule is wisdom. Favor can take you to the top. That's right. But wisdom will, will be a requirement to sustain you at the top. So Amen. you need to crave for wisdom. How do you get wisdom? It takes desire. Mm. In Proverbs 18 verse 1, it says, true desire. Mm. A man having separated himself, seeketh and intermingled with all wisdom. You need to desire wisdom. You need to go for it. You need to desire. There's a way. You see, there is always a way out. That's wisdom right. will always point you to the way out. No matter the challenge in your life, no matter what is coming against you right now, there is always a way out. Amen. Joseph knew there was always a way out. In fact, while he was in the prison, the wisdom of God was upon him when the servants of Potiphar, mm. uh, I mean, were jailed. The Bible says the servants of Pharaoh, I beg your pardon, were jailed with him. They had a dream, but the wisdom of God was on Joseph. He interpreted their dream. Amen. Wisdom is doing things God's way. He was able to interpret other people's dream when his own dream was still in the incubation mm. process. So wisdom, and he said, when you go out, remember me. That's right. He did it. You know, most times, you know, when we have a need, sometimes we don't want to pay attention to other people's need, but our ability to pay attention to other people's need will cause our own need to be met. 
Amen. It was after he interpreted other people's dreams that his own dreams came to pass. Wisdom will be given to you from God because God has laid up sound wisdom for the just. And I see God giving you wisdom. But you need to crave Amen. for it. You need to desire it. You need to long for it. One of the things about our God, our God doesn't just throw things at people. He wants to say, I will pour water upon him that is thirsty. That's right. You need to hunger for it. You need to test for it. And God will baptize you with wisdom. And as you receive wisdom from one heart, I see you victorious. I see you succeeding Amen. in every area of your life. Let's move to the next powerful force, this cardinal force of success and all-round victory. And you look, you, you see, you notice something very powerful, man of God. All these forces mm. that we're looking at can help you to succeed no matter what That's area. Right. It can help you to become victorious That's no matter right. what aspect of your life that you are in. In fact, it just occurred to me right now, by the, by the message of God as it has occurred to me, we'll be giving out these CDs for this program. The last week program and this program will be giving out the CDs as you sow your love gift to this ministry. We'll sow this CD to you so that uh, this broadcast will give it, will send it to you as our gift to you Amen. to celebrate what God is about to do in your life. So considering sowing generosity to help us take continue to take this broadcast to the nations where people are getting blessed, we will sow this to you as our own uh, appreciation for what God has done and what God is going to do in your life Amen. in the name of Jesus. Let's look at the, the, the final cardinal. We're going to look at this, this cardinal first. And that is, if we go back to our text, you want to read that text again, Acts chapter 7. Let's read the, 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 the last verse there uh, in this, and we know what, what that is. And he delivered him out of all his afflictions, and gave him favor and wisdom in the sight of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. And he made him governor over Egypt and my, all his house. My Lord, God made him. Amen. <laughs> The making of every man mm. is with God. That's right. God is the maker of every life. That's right. No matter what you want to be in life, you can make yourself. But I have good news for you. God will make you. You know, mm. Jesus spoke. Jesus spoke in Matthew chapter 4 and verse number 19. I want you to read that scripture. This is where it is. I mean, I'm excited. I just feel like flying now. Amen. Matthew chapter 4 verse 19. And he said unto them, follow me and I will make you. Oh my God. What do you want to become in life? Amen. Follow Jesus and he will make you. He will make you a great wife. He will make you a powerful, wonderful husband. He will make you an excellent student. He will make you the, the, the dream of your life. He will make you that engineer you want to become will make you that doctor you want to become whatever you want to be in life will make you that rich man that rich woman will make you god can make you Amen. god made joseph Amen. and god is still in the process of making people Amen. no matter what you want to become in life god can make you in fact don't forget he said i will make you the head and not the tail Amen. Verse 13. Amen. I will make you the head and not the tail. I will put you above and you oh, shall yeah. never be beneath. Amen. God is the one that can make you. In fact, when at the beginning, God wanted a glorious life for man. In Genesis chapter number 1 and verse 26, God says, let us make man mm. in our image. God is a maker. God will make you. Amen. No matter what you, you, you and God can remake you. That's if right. your life has been out of course, if there have been challenges you don't like, you know, in your health, whatever it is that the enemy has tampered with, God can remake. Amen. God will make you. You know, if something cannot be repaired, it can also be remade. It can be replaced. So whatever you need in your life, whatever God, in your health, I see God making you, you healthy. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In fact, I can feel the power of God Thank and the ocean of God. Everything God makes, He makes it by the power of His word. And I'm speaking God's word to you right where you are right now. I speak healing Thank to you your Jesus. body from the crown yes, of your Lord. head. Yes, Come on, stretch Father. out your hand and agree with me in the Thank name you, of Father. Jesus. I see Thank your ankle Jesus. bones receiving strength Thank right you, now Father. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I see God making for you. There is somebody that is watching right now. 
you, Lord. I think it's your kidney that the enemy has tampered with. Mm. I see God touching it for you right Thank now you, in the mighty name of Amen. Jesus. I see healing. I speak the word of healing yes, to Lord. you in the precious name. Receive it. Receive that word. That word is for Jesus. you in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, yes, I can. God is healing. That's Woman right. of God, I can feel right. the healing virtue of God at this hour. You can hear with one of your ears. I believe it's your left ear. And you can hear audibly. But right now, I command that ear to open in the Amen. name of Jesus. I say, a father be open in Amen. the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank I you give you Jesus. praise in the mighty name of Jesus. There's a young girl. There's a, you're watching me. Your daughter your daughter has not been able to speak eloquently i see the power of god healing her right now in the thank name of jesus. jesus if you lay your hands upon her head yes thank you father i see that healing virtue right now receive your healing i you command father. that tongue to lose Amen. in the precious name of jesus we Amen. lose that tongue thank you father thank i give you, you praise father. and yes you have a business god is showing me you Jesus. have a business and the business has been crawling but the maker of every destiny has come to make that business a showpiece on the surface of the earth Amen. in the mighty name of jesus Amen. receive wisdom to thank take you, that jesus. business to the next level yes, Lord. thank you father thank god you, shall father. make you know god jesus met that man at the pool he said would thou be made whole mm. the question is would you be made whole mm. god is making you god will make you a new sharp it will make you a sharp he said i will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument mm -hmm. and you shall thresh down your mountains Thank no matter father. the mountains confronting you god will make you and you will thresh them down in the name of jesus mm -hmm. this is your hour of victory this is your hour of breakthrough we need mm -hmm. to i can say the time is already That's fast right. spent but i want to pray for you the first pray i want to pray for you right now you are not saved you have not made jesus the light of the lord of your life he wants to remake your life he wants you need to give your life to jesus Say this prayer with me. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I believe you died for me. I believe you died for me. On the third day. On the third day. You rose again for, you my, rose justification. Again for my justification. Forgive me my sin. Forgive me my sin. Write my name in the book of Write life. Write my name in the book of Make life. Make me a new creature. Make me a new creature. Thank you for saving me. Thank you for saving me. If you said that prayer, you just got born again. Amen. I want to congratulate you. Give us a call. And uh, the prayer partners are there to pray for you. Call the prayer line right now. Whatever your needs are, whatever your desires are, the prayer lines are open. And with this prayer line, or please, 24 hours seven days a week you can always call for every of your desire i'll be glad to pray with you in the name of jesus so better stay come and worship god with us at the household of faith for all nation where god is working miracles miracles in the life of his people Amen. you will have a story to tell let us let us work together to create and to receive your own desired miracle Amen. let's work together with god and there'll be a miracle for you in the name of jesus Amen. consider sowing your general seed to the father ground of this ministry it will be a blessing to your life. Woman of God, Amen. we have to go at this hour again and to believe God to bring God's people God's word next time. Until we come your way again next time, next week, we want to stay empowered and to remember that Jesus God is Lord. To sow your seed right away on the fertile ground of this great commission, call the It Shall Be Done prayer line now. The number to call is 770-805-9100 or 770-892-8268. For your immediate convenience, you can sow your seed online at www.householdoffaithfan.org. You can choose to mail your seed to P.O. Box 265, Austell, Georgia, 30168. Call us. Prayer partners are standing by to receive your call. Call right away because it shall be done for you.